I'm gonna start by saying, I am not a fucking pedophile. Ah, uh, so again, we see another big YouTuber that has been befallen to a bullshit controversy. Many of you have probably heard about what's been going on surrounding Shane Dawson and these false accusations being spread. A video that's been taken down accused Shane Dawson of being a pedophile and claiming to actually have evidence in said video. Now, others have re-uploaded this video and before I show it to you guys, Keep in mind, this is complete bullshit. These accusations towards Shane Dawson are utter lies, and the video is completely edited up out of context to paint Shane Dawson in a negative light. This child was probably six years old, and um, I was taking a picture of something, and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is? Right. Which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I was embarrassed because, yes, I was. And it was a picture of my salad. <laughs> and the six-year-old girl goes, um, oh, how many followers do you have? I have 125,000. No. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. She's like sexy. You're disgusting. I know. Listen, we've talked about pedophilia before. No, no, this before. is the, Shane. Like, <laughs> like, do not say this, and do, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. Like, okay. he kind of can. He, listen, he allegedly, has this justification, justification for pedophilia, okay. and it's so disturbing. And like, I, I just pretend that he doesn't. <laughs> okay, wait, no, like, no. Let me explain. Let no. me explain. Oh God. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Here's my thing. People have foot fetishes. People have fetishes about, you know, everything. Fine, everybody do your thing. So why is it when somebody looks at a Google's like naked baby on Google and jerks off to it, they can get arrested? Because, I don't understand because... that. Here's so, like, the worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, I oh don't want to see. You could get I don't arrested. Wanna, I know, but I just wanted to see like, okay, let me just pretend, yeah. let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a sec. So I typed in naked baby. First of all, they were sexy. <laughs> okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so I look at this little girl's pictures and she had makeup on, she had her tongue out, she was doing like the peace sign, she was doing a backflip. Is all. she like Honey Boo Boo? Is she fat? No, she was like the skinny little sexy six-year-old. 12-year-old girls with bald eagle tattoos is you know, <laughs> kind of sexy. Mmm, mmm. Oh no, he's gonna not like this at all. She might get it. She could get it. I'm a fuck her. somehow came across this random YouTube channel of this girl who was singing covers. I think the way we got there was because we were watching a Jacob Sartorius video, don't ask. I'm gonna find that little girl. I'm gonna bring her to our house. I tweeted her, DM'd her, Instagrammed her, and messaged her on every platform. Time to meet the star. <laughs> We need to hold hands for this. Okay. Just to be safe. We're gonna be together forever. Okay. He knows you like Jesus. Oh. All right, give me a hug. I love you. Yeah, Was that for the video? Come on. I'm your fake son. Come in my reef. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, and she sent me a picture of herself. Yeah, she's definitely into sex toys. I mean, her hair is practically a sex toy. Look at all those anal beads. Well, Laura, I love you. I'll put this in a binder full of all my other pictures with young girls. Love you.
That's the worst thing ever when like a kid who you know who's like so cute and little and you're like yeah, I'm spray them! And then you see them again and they're like eight feet tall and their voice is like this. And they have like that weird beard hair. Ugh, just stay a baby forever. Now, most know that the audio used in this was from a podcast he did back in 2013, the Shane and Friends podcast, but the person who made this video took out clips of dialogue from Shane pushing this false narrative of him, acting like he was being serious and genuine when he was in fact making jokes. Whether or not you think his jokes were humorous or in poor taste, well, it's really irrelevant. Humor is subjective and you can make fun of pretty much anything. I've said this before and I'll say it again. It was obvious, crude, shock, ridiculous scenario type of joking. Now the channel that originally uploaded the slanderous video has since been terminated beforehand they were involved in some pretty weird things that happened. Philip DeFranco made a video going more in detail about that. The story starts to become about Pop Blast, the channel that posted the original video. They end up removing the Shane Dawson video and then just begin acting erratic. They start off uploading a video that has a series of numbers, it's code, it spells out they made me do it. The video is a still of an email that read, as you know his comments have caused another expedient uproar in the general public, make a video around four to seven minutes long and use the following footage we have collected of Shane Dawson to label him as a pedophile. That's followed by a video that has a still of what looks to be a PayPal screen, $6,500 from Jeffrey Oscar Levin. That name's notable because that is the name of Logan Paul's manager. There's another video in code that says, I'm returning the money. It was not worth it. I'm sorry. Then there was a video of a mother and son. See, we know you're not a pedophile, Shane Dawson. Oh, well. See, we're sorry. The internet's so mean. Oh, then they uploaded a series of videos that were old and stolen content, Rothschild conspiracy videos, old creepy videos, and eventually the channel was taken down. And so as you might imagine, all of a sudden there were all these conspiracy theories. People saying, oh, okay, Logan Paul's manager was behind it all. The general idea of the theory being Logan Paul's manager paid for a YouTube channel to make a hit piece on Shane Dawson, so the YouTube community and the news coverage around YouTube would change from Logan Paul and the horrible stuff that he did and shift that focus to Shane Dawson so that Logan Paul could return clean. But here are some problems with that. One, the so-called Evidence is a screenshot from a source that has already lied. Lied about and misrepresented Shane Dawson, so why wouldn't they do it to another person? Especially because they put out a piece like this that could get them sued to hell and back. And so they create this conspiracy theory. Also, anyone can use a fake name on PayPal. This channel had a good number of subscribers, probably made a decent chunk of money, could have easily paid would themselves. And that's without saying that this could have been a photoshopped image. People also pointing out that on PayPal normally there is a currency symbol. People also pointing out that in that number they use a comma rather than a decimal point. So that might give us an idea of where this person is, but there's no actual real evidence there yet Even Shane Dawson himself saying he doesn't think it's Logan Paul or his team and addict I genuinely think someone was trying to make a conspiracy theory about me in real time uploading clues hints, etc I don't believe Logan's people had anything to do with it. It seems almost scripted. It's all very fascinating Gotta love the internet but of course, many people hopped on the bandwagon, just immediately jumped the gun on the story, running with these narratives and crafting these theories. Eventually, Shane Dawson came out with a video addressing these accusations and rumors. I, Shane Yaw, my real name, go on record saying I am not a fucking pedophile. Got it? Great. Here's my statement. Because everybody's saying, Shane, make a statement. There's my statement. I'm not a fucking pedophile. It's disgusting that people are saying I'm a fucking pedophile because of some shitty ass fucking jokes from six years ago on a podcast. <sighs> now let me explain a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to apologize first. I am sorry that I used to make really shitty fucking jokes. I am sorry that I was so fucking like insecure and like, playing this character of this guy who's like crazy and will say anything and like tries to make people laugh by shocking them. That was my thing. That was what I did on YouTube. A lot of people now don't know that. If you started watching my videos more recently, you might not know that. But back in the day, 2000, 2008 to 2012-ish, maybe 2013, that was my thing. I, I thought it was so... I loved the feeling of making somebody shocked and laugh because they couldn't believe what was coming out of my mouth. 
I wasn't confident enough to make smarter jokes. I was making the easy jokes. I was playing crazy stereotypical characters. I was doing shit that was racially insensitive. I was doing shit that was homophobic. I was doing shit that could be considered fat shaming. I was doing some fucked up like comedy stuff that I'm not proud of. And even after making that video, there are still people who believe he's involved in pedophilia, pushing this clear witch hunt to smear shame. Q in our scumfuck for the hour, Onision! Ah yes, excellent, can't wait to endure the long-winded diatribe of Greg yet again. Ironically, Greg has been known to have a back and forth with Shane, going from wanting to collab with him and saying how awesome he is, to making fun of him for being overweight. All while Shane just kind of ignores him. So I guess it's no surprise that Onision of all people is shitting on Shane, but he's specifically trying to push the pedophile narrative, even going as far as doubling down on that position, despite citing unreliable resources. Now on his streams on Onision Reacts, he's tried to show evidence and expose Shane of being a sexual deviant. Oh, and before we begin, yes, it's bullshit too. Quite a twist, I know. Onision being wrong and full of shit? What? But let's take a look at this first video video that already has a great sign. We're all going to uh, prep ourselves for one of the most unpopular narratives on the internet. And this is going to be fun. This is going to be interesting because we're actually doing something different. We're not following what everybody else wants to believe. We're not following what everybody else has eaten up as if it's automatic fact without doing any real self-reflection or deep analyzation. Man, just knowing what wretched things lie ahead and for him to be saying this truly shows just how oblivious Greg is. All of what he said is easily attributed back to him, not only for his history here on YouTube, but for what he'll be saying in these very videos. Because, well, it's Onision, he's very self-refuting. First of all, this is a, a, a definition of slander, okay? So it says that slander is the action or crime of making a false spoken statement damaging to a person's reputation. And what is a false statement? What is, what is, uh, what is going on here? Well, it's where you say something typically knowingly that isn't true. In court, you typically have to prove that you know for a fact that this person said something maliciously about you, like without any honesty or anything like that. And the problem with my previous stream, where I talked about Shane and what he said, he actually said those things, and I was watching a video that was apparently taken out of context. But let's play again what Shane actually said. I have 125,000. No. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Real. Let me ask you guys this. Is this an appropriate thing to say about a child? Well, um, excuse me, you're playing the video that took him out of context. I actually have a link to his podcast where that part's brought up, episode 3 of Shane and Friends. 629 is the timestamp where he begins the joke, just helping you out and giving you the original source of information here. In any context, we're talking about an actual little girl here. Let's, let's hear what Shane says. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh. See, I don't think you guys understand the magnitude. Like, people will talk about my past where I was with legal age folks. Oh, yeah, except that one time when you were with Shiloh and she was 17 at the time in a state where 17 wasn't the legal age of consent, so you absconded with her to another state to have sex with her violating the Man Act. Yeah, Shiloh herself confirmed that years ago. Sorry, you're not with her anymore, though, so that bit of history just gets erased or revised whenever you wish. I have a question. Did... Did you think he was actually talking about a little girl's dick size? Like he was perving on a little trans girl or something? I mean, it's clear even watching the hit piece that he was using a metaphor there. I mean, if you legitimately thought that at one point, that's really stupid. Like, that's a great example of jumping the gun when it comes to this Shane Dawson thing. Just how gullible one can be. We're talking about... 10-year-olds, 11-year-olds, 
You cannot compare the two. We're talking about a person who's taking part in sexually harassing children. You don't go up to a child and you say, hey, little big dick. Shane definitely sexually harassed children if he actually had this conversation. Oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. See, even if you're joking about that, even if you think, oh, this is just something I'm kidding around. You're talking about like, what, is this a 10 year old? You're, you're, it's one thing to make a joke about, let's say a cartoon, for instance. I have made many jokes about Hank Hill and Bobby. Many jokes, because they're cartoons, they're not real. But Shane is here saying that this girl is sexy. That's not a joke on any level. And what does Shane do after he's scolded? You're not allowed to, to protect Shane. She's like, he's attracted. Talked about pedophilia before. No, no, this before. is the, Shane, like, <laughs> like, do not say this and do like, I this is what, see, this is what's going on. She's immediately scolding. I like your choice of words when it comes to that. She scolded him, which, uh, no, she was clearly shocked about it and clearly wasn't expecting him to say it, but she was also laughing at points in it. You'd know if we were watching the actual podcast, but. No, is she yeah. where Rebecca Black is? They look similar. Uh, no, I, I don't think we were. Rebecca, Rebecca Black, Black has made was... a l little less of a sex tape. <laughs> she hasn't had sex with as many black guys. She did probably with that guy in that She's van. She's 15. Stop She's it. She's growing up. She's, She's almost not. 16. She's she told us. When I asked her, I said, how old are you? She said 15. I said, that's so young. She's like, I'm almost 16. <laughs> as if when she turned 16, we could talk about dicks to her. Yeah. Not Probably not. No. Um, well, I have an UGG. Oh, okay. Excuse now, me. this is an UGG that I just realized uh, a few days ago. I was with Lisa, and mm. we ran into a child. I'm not going to say why or how, but we ran into <laughs> like, a child. Like in your, wait, hold on. In your with car, my car, I hit like, the child. Hit the chi okay. It was dying on the side of the road, okay, and I great. said, oh, I should probably ask what its name is. Uh -huh. No, but this child was probably six years old, and um, I was taking a picture of something, and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is, right. which is terrifying. Mm -hmm. Second of all, I was embarrassed because, yes, I was, and it was a picture of my salad. <laughs> so then, oh, the soup plantation yes, salad. I saw it. It looked amazing. And the six-year-old girl goes, um, oh, how many followers do you have? I mean, first Stop. of all, it was almost like one of those contests where it's like, how big is your dick? <laughs> and this kid slapped his huge, her huge dick on the table and was like a six-year-old who goes, oh, I have 125,000. No. Her dick was... Almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. You're disgusting. I know. Listen, we've talked about pedophilia before. No, no, this before. is the, Shane, like, <laughs> like, do not say this. And do, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. <laughs> Like okay. he kind of can he, Listen, he has this justification justification for pedophilia okay. and it's so disturbing and like I, I just pretend that he doesn't. <laughs> okay, well, no, like, no, let me explain. Let no. me explain. Oh god. Here's my justification for pedophilia. I can't. Okay. First of all, let me just say having sex with children or touching children or anything of that nature is terrible sure. and you should not do it. But <laughs> but <laughs> But it's just off the cuff shit. It's improvising and sure, you can say it's in bad taste, that it's inappropriate, but well then you're just like every other outraged parent that thinks they know what's best for every child just because they have them. But all it is is a morality argument that you think everyone else should oblige. And so what does Shane do? He immediately after says he's joking. What does he do? Okay? He dials down the moment he's Later, like, scolded. For saying horribly and inappropriate things about that girl. Now let's watch Shane actually react to this. He's like, I'm not a pedophile. Okay, great. That's great that you're so completely off the rung about this. Like acting, he's literally acting surprised that people would think this after everything he's done. You are aware that took place over five or six years ago, right? No one gave a shit then. No one should give a shit now. Especially, let's be honest, when you're trying to hype it up, make it out to be much more worse than it is. Is it a crass joke? Of course it is. But jokes like that are defined as crass for a fucking reason. And you're acting.
acting so sensitive to realize that. Especially coming from you, Greg, of all fucking people. Now you're acting like little Miss Sensitive? Really? Done. Before we get to this, let's just watch one thing on Twitter. There's this, right? This is an example of many Stage times that Shane has been inappropriate towards children. Sexually harassed or otherwise exploited children. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Let's refresh. Job, Lucy! But next time, shake your titties more! Did he just point at a child and say, shake your titties more? He just... Let's see that again. Let's see how disgusting Shane Dawson is. Stage mother! Good job, Lucy! But next time, shake your titties more. And you, take off the jacket and show more. Good job of... Why does he say shake your titties to a child and he points to the adult and just says show more? Yeah, notice how he's putting on a voice too as he's doing it. It's almost like it's supposed to be outrageous. Almost like he's acting hmm almost like he's an actor i seem to recall you using the acting line to justify your shit behavior yet apparently like many other things those same rules just don't apply to onision how odd that the magical standards he fucking sets aren't adhered to in his odd delusional perspective i know that's kind of an irrelevant observation but i just think it's interesting he couldn't just Dial it down for the child and not dial it down for the adult. Well, I'd have to agree. It is an irrelevant observation, but glad to know you decided to focus on it for a bit there. But yet again, this is just you virtue signaling and no one gives a shit. Throughout this, you're just the equivalence of Kyle's mom from South Park. Yeah. Good job, Lucy! But next time, shake your titties more. What? 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 You pointing at a child. Good job, Lucy! But next time, shake your titties more. And it's you. Literally inappropriate, no matter. Who you talk to, unless you're an absolute nonsensical monster supporting Shane Dawson. You don't you never point at a child and say, shake your titties more, even if you're joking. And this is what I'm talking about when I say I think on a core level that Shane is a predator towards children. Or at the very least, he is totally inappropriate towards children. That's literal sexual harassment. I don't think if you're I don't care if you're a comedian. I don't care if you're on the set of a movie. If you point at any woman and say, shake your titties more, that could, that could wind you up in court. You could wind up in court saying, uh, what, did, what did Shane Dawson say to you, child? And she could go, oh, he pointed at me and said, shake your titties more. If it was some random guy who just came up to a random girl with a random camera and straight face said that, you may have a point here. But that's clearly not the context of what's happening from what I'm seeing in the video you're showing. They clearly know each other. He's joking with her. They're having fun. They're smiling. They don't look or seem upset or uncomfortable, let alone being harassed. Really, you're painting this up with different colors as you usually do. That's disgusting. And this is, this is not like, oh, Shane didn't really say that. He obviously said that in this video. But let's go ahead and watch Shane act like he's never said or done an inappropriate thing in his life. Other than tell jokes. I took a Google and I'm like, oh, God. I want to see. You could get arrested. I know. I didn't want to see child porn. I just wanted to see, like, okay, let me just pretend. Let me pretend like I'm a pedophile for a second. Okay, by the way, just for the record, <laughs> please, I have nothing to do with this. I didn't know this. Like, you can literally get arrested for saying I know. This. Let, me, let me finish. Sure. So I typed in Naked Baby. First of all. I don't understand why anybody would be turned on by that. But that's the first good thing you said. But they were sexy. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, back to the Instagram. Um, so, I so he plays this part of it, and he says, "Oh, it was so important. You guys totally left that part out." What about the part where react? You literally they go your opinion and react as a okay, kid. little big dick, and you say that Thousand. you said this to a no. little girl. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick, why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And again, it is not appropriate on any level to be talking about a child this way. You do realize it's an over the top story topped off with exaggerated parts to make it seem much more out there because well, it's fucking supposed to be. It's supposed to be ridiculous. So I doubt he actually called her little big dick. It's absolutely insane. And he's going here and he's, he's, he's literally sexually harassing or passively doing so on his stream, talking about a child in a sexual way. And we're supposed to be like, oh, no, he's a great guy.
No, he's great. He's only objectifying this child publicly. Um, okay, I don't think Shane Dawson is a great guy. Now, don't get me wrong, he's probably a good dude, but I don't know. I never met him, and I don't really watch him, so I'm not just a fan defending the guy for the sake of being a fan. I'm defending him because the truth is pretty self-explanatory regarding the situation. But then there are cretins like you that crawl out of your little fucking mud holes trying to muck up actual facts for your own game. Only this time, it's so blatantly obvious that more and more people are lifting this veil you're wanting to so desperately put on everyone. Talking about an alleged dick. <laughs> like, I don't know how anyone could be supportive of this guy. So you really thought he was talking about an actual dick when he said that? Oh boy, man, that's that's pretty stupid. Like, that's so stupid. I, I don't even believe you actually thought that. I feel like you're better than that, or at least should be. But that's idiotic to even suggest that. I, I guess that's the problem when you just decide not to look deeper into things. What's this clip? <laughs> Let's see what's going on here. There's another kid in one of Shane Dawson's videos. Come here. Get over here. Give me a hug. Breastfeed. Take a sip. Take a sip. Okay, so you're holding a child's head to your body. See, I never get close. This is close to the kids. Like, why would I want to be this close to kids? Why would anyone want to be clo this close to a child? They're not your little sister or anything at the very least. They're just some kid that you're actively holding their head to your body. Breastfeed. Telling them Take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to swear. Um, You're so fucking fake, dude. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to swear, except of course I fucking did, because I don't give a fuck. No one gives a fuck if you curse or not. You've done it before. Oh, worried your stream will get demonetized, or were you just so mad you couldn't help but yell fuck? Either way, it's retarded. But what was that? <laughs> Take a sip. Take a sip. No, Take a sip. You're groping a child's neck, trying to get them to breastfeed off you. And you're making that face. So much milk. Actually, I'm sure there's more milk over there. Can you please Sexually breastfeed me? Literally just sexually harassed another person, too. I mean, even if you think he's a little weird with these kids, it's clear he's being friendly and joking around with them, not in a gross sexual manner like you're wanting to perceive it. But now here you are, flinging that around. Sexual harassment. Oh, that's sexual harassment. Nope, that's sexual harassment. New favorite thing to use, I see. Guys, can't... <laughs> there are so many celebrities who have lost their careers for less. He's looking at different women saying different things about their breasts. That's like, why are we accepting this as a society? This is nuts. Oh, there. Can you please breastfeed with, with Shauna, please? That would make me very happy. <laughs> Again, telling a child to breastfeed? Why are we talking about a child's breasts? Shane, why are we... Why are we having a child in front of us and saying, hey, let's talk about our boobs? Uh, just to clarify his joke, it was the older lady's breasts that he brought up, not the little girl's. Oops, your duplicitous manner is showing again, Greg. That's sexual harassment. There's, in no court, could you make those statements? Like say, oh, he said this, this, and this, and the judge would be like, that's not sexual harassment. That's sexual harassment. Shane has... Open and closed, definitely sexually harassed children. Welp, you're gonna need a lot more evidence to convince the court than that, buddy. Let's see more of his uh, downplaying. See if he can try to talk his way out of this. Hi, uh, I wanted to play that clip in full. I mean, that moment especially in full. <sighs> Just for context, because that seems to be missing <laughs> nowadays. Tell me about the context of you holding a child to your chest and, and trying to breastfeed them. Or the context of you telling a child to shake their titties. Tell me about that. The fact that he wasn't actually serious at all about that. Do you think he was really going out of his way to force a child to suckle on his man tit and nourish themselves upon his man milk? This just in, you're a dipshit, Greg. Congratulations. You must be so proud of how asinine you fucking sound. I cannot believe that I'm having to make this video. I cannot believe that this is happening. Tell me another uh, YouTuber grown man who has told the child to shake their titties. Is he really surprised that he's finally getting caught for being a sexual harasser of children? Really? I, uh, I'm going to start by saying I am not a fucking pedophile. I oh my God, he got close to the camera and yelled and cussed. We must believe him. And if you don't think I'm a great actor, then what the fuck are you doing watching my goddamn channel? 
You motherfucking piece of shit! See what I mean? Oh my god, he got close to the camera and yelled and cussed. We must believe him. I, Shane Yaw, my real name, go on record saying I am not a fucking pedophile. Oh my god, if he says that it's not true, then it must be true. No criminal has ever lied about whether or not they're a criminal. As opposed to Greg, who's pretty much lied most of his YouTube career, which is failing because he's a worthless, talentless loser who's burned bridges with a lot of people who now want nothing to do with him. Because, let's face it, Greg, you were once a somebody, but now you've been rotting away into a nobody. Meanwhile, Shane's been doing surprisingly well, considering how long he's been on the site. I doubt you're envious of him. I doubt you're vindictive about it. Got it? Great. Here's my stick. Wow, I'm stupid. I'm a stupid subscriber, and I just believe everything you say just because you said it. Onision, don't describe your sycophants like that. At this point, they're the only things left carrying you. How did- Prove it! Show me that every single video you've ever done with a child is fake. Because you've done so many references to children, and made so many comments to children, and I'm talking 10, 11, 12, okay? Yeah, Shane, I want you to prove you're not something. Prove to me you're not a pedophile. Yet another logical fallacy by Onision. Not people who, who could be 18, 19, 20. No. I'm talking about actual children. And this guy's getting away, f w away with it again. Because people think that it's appropriate to tell a child to shake their titties. Real. Wow. Damn it. Everybody's saying, Shane, make a statement. There's my statement. I'm not a fucking pedophile. It's disgusting that people are saying I'm a fucking pedophile. Then don't tell a child to shake their titties. Let's go back. Can we go back? Let's go back to him telling a child. He's more. And you. Job, Lucy. But next time, shake your titties more. Oh, great. And now let's, uh, let's go and see you try to breastfeed that Come child. Come here. Get over here. Give me a hug. Breastfeed. Take a sip. Take a sip. Take a sip. So much. It's fucking disgusting. Another appeal to emotion. Keep bringing up children. Keep condemning his actions as if you're better, which you aren't. You're worse. Because this moral argument is coming from a man who didn't give a shit that he was showing potentially underage girls in his videos talking about their bodies. So I'm done with this live stream. If you want to watch the rest, I'll link it down below. But we're moving on from this shit. It doesn't matter anyway. The rest of it is just more straw manning, more accusations, typical of Onision Dribble. If you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times. Now, Greg confusingly has both rescinded and doubled down on some points from this video in his latest one talking about Shane, this time him investigating further, which you probably should have done before opening your big fat fucking mouth about this, but I will say he's all over the place in this video. His position is just confusing. So... I wanted to do a little investigating on Shane Dawson because it's important that we all actually know what we're talking about. Now, a while ago, I uh, I covered a video that was like what everybody was mad about. Uh, it was trending. Um, it was Shane Dawson saying some pretty uh, unforgivable things. I mean, you would think they're pretty unforgivable considering he uh, justified pedophilia. I like how your dumb ass is watching another edited video and not the actual podcast. It's not hard. It really isn't. It just takes a little something called effort, but you can't even go look for the source. No, no. Let me again look at this through a biased video. Rebecca Black has made a l little less of a sex tape. <laughs> she hasn't had sex with as many black guys. She did probably with that guy in that She's van. She's 15. Stop She's it. She's growing up. She's, She's almost 16. Not. Okay, so Shane there could totally be joking, all right? We understand that a person is probably allowed to joke about a celebrity. A lot of people joke about celebrities. Like, a lot of people used to say, man, I can't wait till the Olsen twins turn 18. I get that. I mean, at least they're referencing them when they're illegal and not saying that they actually want to do them now, but whatever. With Lisa, and we ran into a child. No, but this child was probably six years old, and um, I was taking a picture of something and the kid turns to me and goes, oh, are you Instagramming? And first of all, how does a five-year-old, six-year-old know what Instagram is? Your old girl goes, um, oh, how many followers do you have? I mean, first of all, it was almost like one of those contests where it's like, how big is your dick? And this kid slapped his huge 
her huge dick on the table and was like a six-year-old. That metaphor was really important. Um, the original clip that I found on Twitter, which was referred to me by someone else, that did not include that little analogy. All they did was include little big dick. Yeah, you took him literally. You honestly thought he was being literal on that, but whatever, even if you were confused on that, it might help to, I don't know, research it, make sure you have the proper context, because it's ironic this whole thing is about context, as it usually is with controversies like these in particular, and you still lack proper context about Shane on this. Not giving a damn about citation, not giving a damn about about proper sources or proper evidence, you're a prime example of just believing something at face value, which is both dangerous and stupid of an idea to be propagating. So I didn't really know what they were talking about and it was entirely out of context. And this is a, a two side stream. You guys are gonna hear a lot of uh, me explaining why Shane would say something and a lot of me pointing out how mess it up it is for Shane to say something else. Oh yeah, so fair. Glad we have our unbiased translator here to speak on Shane's behalf. Wonderful. I'm so glad you're going to tell us how mess it up it is for Shane to do the things he's been doing. Because that's kind of how balanced conversations work where you see both perspectives. World who goes, oh, I have 125,000. No. Her dick was almost as big as mine. Really? Okay, see, that's also something they left out. He was clearly talking in an uh, analogy format about your view count being directly tied to, or follower count being tied to your penis size. Penis was just a uh, metaphor. Really? No shit. Glad, glad you caught up with the rest of the herd, buddy. You've been behind for a while. That's important information. Really? And I said, okay, little big dick why do you have so many followers? And she goes, oh, I'm a cheerleader. And I'm like, oh, really? And she shows me her Instagrams, which are like, first of all, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. I all right. So no matter the context, and Shane knows this, this is totally inappropriate to say. All right. I don't care if you're joking or not, but you're talking about an actual six-year-old as he referenced them. So when you call a six-year-old sexy, I don't care if you're a comedy shock or whatever, you just call a six-year-old sexy. All right. You don't have to mean it. Yes, please keep talking in your fake, monotone, serious voice you're using to set the tone right now. I'm loving the facade you're putting on. Like, for instance, let me let me put it to you this way. Let's say you're at a, uh, a gathering, you know, with uh, friends or family or whatever, and someone comes up to you and drops a joke. You know they're a comedian, but they come up to you and drop a joke about your child. They say, hey, your child's sexy. And even if you know they're joking, you probably want to end their life. Probably. You know, you probably want to drown them in a river. And the reason you feel this way is because we're so, as a society, disgusted by pedophiles, and we should be. Well, then that person is very irrational and over-emotional because I don't care how much you want to harm someone for what they did. I wouldn't encourage another to instantly go with that gut reaction. Glad to know you would, though. Doesn't shock me, but good to know that you're for rationality, yet support an irrational notion. So Shane has since apologized for his humor, and that's good because it means he agrees with me. Oh, of course that's what that means, even though Shane doesn't really acknowledge you, so I doubt he specifically stated you were right. Again, considering you cited from flawed, outright bogus sources like the fucking chump you are. That's his comedy in this moment is disgraceful. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but like, she's like sexy. She's See, th the cringe is so real. And anybody who sees this and, and doesn't feel the cringe, I feel like you're detached from society. So in other words, if you don't agree with my rhetoric, then you're bad too, right? That, that, that's what that means, clearly. As a grown man, in any context, repeatedly saying that a six-year-old is sexy is vomit-inducing. And I would be surprised if that person didn't get themselves in a lot of trouble. It's like sexy. You're disgusting. I know, listen, we've talked about pedophilia no, no, this before. Is the he responds with, yeah, I know, listen. Hmm, not a good response. What your immediate response is, I'm joking. And that that would 
probably help you a little bit. Yeah, Shane, remember when you're making a joke, make sure to clarify that it's a joke over and over as much as possible. That way they don't forget that you're joking. Make sure to spell it out every fucking second for everyone as any joke should, right? It's sh Shane, like, <laughs> I, like, do not say this and do, like, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, you will get arrested. That's like, the worst part of it. I actually went to Google and I'm like, oh, I God. don't want to see. You can I don't get arrested. Wanna, just wanted to see like, okay, let me just pretend, yeah. let me pretend like I'm a pedophile person. Let me, again, remind you guys, this is edited out of context. But what's important is that he's actually saying these things. Out of context, that's the problem. Why are we watching this when, much like you, there's no credibility here? Why the fuck are we watching this video then? This isn't evidence, it's not, so why are you still referring to it? Like, why would I, personally, ever say, hey, let me pretend I'm a pedophile, go to Google and do this? You know, and, and Shane has a, actually a, uh, a pretty significant history of Googling things that are inappropriate. Now, when I say this, I'm going to show you later in the stream exactly what I'm talking about. He's made uh, multiple videos, multiple comments, etc., where he's talking about, oh my God, you guys, I just randomly came across this. Oh my God, you guys, look at what people are doing on, on, on YouTube or whatever. And you know, you could say that's totally innocent and it could be. But we need to pay attention to the patterns. We need to be aware as a society because people that don't seem to be predators, people that are friendly, that everyone loves, a lot of times they can be. It's sometimes the most charismatic people that are actually predatorial towards children. So implement this red scare type of paranoid thinking, huh? It could be anyone. Anyone could be a pedo. Well then, by your logic, that means you could be one too, and you, Greg, have been accused of it before. So, hmm, why is it that the shit moral pendulum you toss so often seem to not swing back your way? I'm curious, can you fucking explain that to me? And anybody who knows much about predators could easily agree with me. It's pretty much open and closed, no duh. And if you want me to like really prove this point, when you think of a church, what do you think of? Hmm? When you think of religious people, a lot of them are predatorial. And in fact, the state that downloads the most pornography out of the entire United States based on what I've seen is Utah, the most religious state in the country to my knowledge. Okay, so we're talking these people who pretend to be clean, pretend to be whatever to be a likable, lovable human being. That is called acting, which is why most of the time I can be optimistic when I feel like it or I can be negative when I feel like it. As I have said since basically the very beginning, I am whatever I wish to be. I am Onision. I am whatever I wish to be. Sorry, just showing more of your hypocrisy. It's actually really easy to do, but um, so again, encouraging delusional thinking based off paranoia, based off fear, based off feeling. What a great thing to advocate for, all for the sake of making yourself look good, because at the end, that's what this comes down to. Greg wanting to make himself look better than Shane by comparison, and he's willing to completely toss research, evidence, and truth, all for the sake of him being right. So, just just so we're clear on Onision's true intentions, we can continue. And they're actually predatorial. Now the problem is, is that Shane Dawson isn't clean. He makes these jokes openly. So that could work in his favor. Sorry. But let's try to be honest and it. realize this isn't uh, so much agenda-driven video, but rather an honest research of so many factors. It's, it's, uh, it's disturbing. Like they're all... That's who's following you. Who, six-year-olds? Uh -huh. No. Maybe. Oh, my God. Hashtag yum. Okay. See, that wasn't even in the original Twitter video that I saw. He could be joking, right? Yeah, he could totally be joking about hashtag yum that little children are following him. But I hope this is something that reminds him and, and teaches him to never make these jokes again because that's not something... Pedophilia is a real issue in our society. It's a huge, huge issue. Yeah, and so are a lot of other things like murder, rape, and suicide. All those are issues, but people will joke about that stuff all the time. The principle is still the same of making fun of something horrible and spinning it into something humorous that we know is bad, but helps us and others deal with it in another way. That we shouldn't silence on other people's behalves because you don't like it. And let I me mean, just look at Jared from Subway. 
there's numerous people who have been caught with hordes of incriminating stuff like um alex what is his name austin jones yeah austin jones was a youtuber who went to jail literally for basically what shane dawson is describing as something he's attracted to in a joking manner well if we specifically find messages of him asking underage girls to twerk for him then he'll be persecuted like austin was but shane is not austin innocent until proven guilty he hasn't been proven guilty so i'm not going with this faulty reasoning you're trying to cram into everyone's head this just makes you think why is a 29 year old adult making videos with children what is his true intent well hold on Plenty of adults make videos with children. Like, it's part of the business. Like, you wouldn't call Eddie Murphy a creep for making Dr. Dr. Doolittle or whatever he made with children. You know? You wouldn't call Adam Sandler a predator for working with children. It's, it's not a problem to work with children. So long as it's legal to work with said children, and so long as you treat those children with respect. Like, for instance, uh, there have been numerous children who have been violated in Hollywood by people who work with them. Like I've personally always been uncomfortable with how close Shane is with children, like his arm around the child and he's so happy, etc. This is a child actor, right? He doesn't even know this kid and he's being so gropy. He's an actor too and all you're doing is insinuating bullshit, just stirring the pot once more using buzzwords like gropy because you're so fucking transparent. But that doesn't mean he's a predator, does it? All right, so we're moving on to this. We have a Yahoo Answers page where someone said, why is everyone calling Shane a pedo? And this is a long time ago. This isn't recent. We're talking, uh, well, one of the answers is five years ago. I'll try to blow this up so you guys can see better. We have five years ago. And then we come down here and we say, apparently he went, to, he went on stage at VidCon and made all sorts of jokes that were racist and about pedophilia. No idea if this is true. But this falls in line with what Shane Dawson actually said, doesn't it? Shane said that he used to make jokes that he's ashamed of. So that doesn't really do anything except for kind of support this idea that Shane Dawson was, in a moment in his video, honest about his past. So that's great. By this point, I think we all get it. I've explored more than enough Onision again, so the link to his shit will be down below. Now I can go and refute more of what he has to say throughout this, of course, but I don't want to be skipping all over the place because it's just so long and so worn out. I'm sorry, but do you want to sit through more of Onision's dribble? Yeah, I didn't think so, but what it boils down to is that while he isn't stating outright that Shane is a pedophile now, he just heavily insinuates it. He encourages other people to try and gather more evidence of Shane being a pedophile, which of course he isn't, just because of some tasteless jokes he made. Put your pitchforks and torches down, it's time to stop. Now before I end this video, I wanted to bring something up. Someone sent me a link to an old Onision website that's no longer active, but thanks to the Internet Archive Wayback Machine, I was able to go on MrOdd.com, which you used to go by back in the day. There was a video with you and two girls, a 14 year old and a 15 year old, playing with dolls and doing weird things with them. Here, I'll just play the video. Now, you can't see him in the video, but if that is indeed you, Greg, it sounds like you're doing a voice. This video provided links to the archives to the websites to other doll videos he made before, coinciding with this one. Hey, it's important that you all know there's a lot of content involving swearing, sexual acts, racism, and various other silly things in this video. It's hard to say who is old enough to watch this, but society would rate it R. Guess this means the people who made it shouldn't even watch it. This was 
was back when Greg was 19, weird for a 19 year old, but still he's an adult at the time, so you think that's really appropriate to do with minors, Greg? I mean, it's stupid juvenile behavior, clearly, but you still want to flap your gums about being appropriate around kids? Oh look, a swastika in the video. Could Greg be a white supremacist? Could he be a secret Nazi? If that wasn't the case, then why is there a swastika here, and around minors no less? Now, I'm not saying Greg's a Nazi or anything, but I'd like to see him prove he isn't a Nazi. See, Greg, it's easy to fabricate bullshit. I think I made my point very clear, no need to torture you all further with this, but I want to know your thoughts on this situation, what's your take on it, what's your opinion, let me know down in the comments. As always, I appreciate everyone for watching, and I'll see you all later in my next video.